Hey, welcome back! We are heading into the Lego Friends downtown diner Heart Lake. Hold on, I've I got this wrong. Should I start again? No, I'm not going to. So it's a Heart Lake downtown diner. <laughs> there we go. So we've had quite a few diners before in the Lego Friends theme. Oh, actually, no, not diners as such, but cafes and lots and lots of stuff like that. Oh, look at these little cats like dreaming of being a cat burger. Oh, mm, delicious! Maybe that's not what it means. <laughs> Okay, All right, so but the previous diner was in the go-kart theme, I think. So we're going to see, this is just going to be completely different. There are 346 pieces, $45 here in Australia, $30 in the US. We've got our instruction book and another little, here's where it sits on the map. I've still got to compile this map. So we have got three characters. First up, we've got Leanne. Leanne's wearing her entire outfit. Uh, we have seen before in other of the new, the Next Generation sets, but I love it. I just love the shoes with the socks. It's so cute. Cute. I love her vest over the top with all of the little patches so on on including her raccoon that she designs I'm assuming this is her raccoon character for her graphic art and her hair and her face print all the same as we've seen before doesn't make it any less cute because she's just so cute so we've got yeah Leanne uh, oh she's got another hair option because she's gonna be coming no, I'm not gonna give that away but we've got hat with hair my favorite thing in the world because it just looks less as though they've been scalped. I was trying to think why it's my favorite thing in the world. That's a big call. So she's got a helmet with hair so that she can go on her skateboard but still have long luscious locks. Perfect. Uh, and her skateboard's ready and she has got last of the big spenders. She's got five dollar coin. No, five cents. I don't know. It could be a five dollar coin. It could be whatever currency you want it to be. But I just think what could you buy for five cents? We used to go down the corner shop and get like a little paper bag of lollies for five cents. Not anymore. Gosh, I'm old. Right, okay. So we've also got Aaliyah. Did I pronounce that correctly? I think so. Aaliyah, she's got an, oh, such a cute outfit. I love this. We've seen it before. Little overalls dress. So cute. Got her hair piece that we, I, I always struggle to find the orientation for it. <gasps> Let's try Leanne's hair on Aaliyah and like swap them around. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Goodness me, how pretty is Aaliyah's face print? It goes so beautifully with Leanne's hair. Leanne, you can try out Aaliyah's hair, which also gives her a really funky look. That's really cool. I love how you can swap these over. Look, brand new characters. Ta-da! Let's put the hair back so I don't get too confused. So hat with hair on, Aaliyah's hair returned to normal. Wonderful. So Aaliyah actually has got a couple of accessories too. So she must have come, yeah, she came in this bag. Uh, the next character comes out of a different bag. So she has got a pen and a, like, could be a, an iPad, a smart screen of some description. But according to the sticker, it actually kind of looks like the cover of a diary, doesn't it? Like with the, with the little horseshoe on it because I suspect she's horse mad and the handwritten stuff on the top so I don't know what the story is going with these but I'm excited to find out there's also a new kitten well I mean the kitten mold's not new but the kitten print is this kitten's also in other sets we'll see it again soon so third character is Charlie with an I no E no Y their shoes have been printed really poorly but I like the fact that the tongues go quite far up the legs really cute outfit but I just want slightly better printing they've got an apron on stripy teal shirt underneath a little hamburger brooch on and their face print is fantastic like it's reasonably androgynous like this character could identify as male or female or be gender fluid there's just there's nothing there to dictate yeah, any gender for this character so I really like that option also the fact that the aqua hairpiece is brand new in this color Awesome, awesome. So, got our three characters. Let's start on the build. So, what was this building again? I get so tied up in what the characters are. <laughs> the mini dolls looking at their outfits and the printing. I forget what we're actually building. No, I remember it's a diner. Okay, so we have got these big, long, rounded, whoa, in co vibrant coral. So, this flips up like this. It is like a diner seat. Those big padded diner seats, like retro style from the 50s. But these colors are definitely not like, yeah, 50s colors. This is so cool. So we build it like this and then we flip it up and they go on the little jumper studs so they're detachable. And then on the bench top or on the tabletop, this is going to be a serviette holder. That's such a sweet design. And <laughs> on the other jumper stud, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> this is a long, like, it's like a foot long sub. It is the biggest, longest sandwich ever. That's fantastic. And we got a bin, of course, because bins are important for putting your rubbish away. So let's get a couple of, couple of mini dolls on here. They're going to have to start this sandwich from either end and they're going to meet in the middle. Perfect. <laughs> let's 
see what else we've got. So we've got the dining area, which is fabulous. This looks like it might be a little, I don't know what this is. It's very colorful. I like how it's colorful. And then we covered most of the color there while I was saying it was colorful. So we've got rounded red bits on either side. <gasps> it's a jukebox. It's an old timey kind of jukebox. So cute. And this is an arcade game on the screen. It looks like you're playing some sort of chicken version of Flappy Bird, maybe. Or there's hearts up the top, so maybe it's like a Tamagotchi. You have to keep the chicken alive. No, maybe not. That wouldn't work for an arcade game. Okay, we're at the end of this bag. We've got a few spare pieces. And we're, yeah, on to bag number two. So now we start building the diner. This is the floor plan. Oh no, the floor space for the diner, these purple bits. This big yellow door frame, brand new in this color. Same open sign that we're seeing on a lot of the other buildings. Actually, I think all of the buildings so far in this wave. So everybody, the store that had the open signs had a special in Heart Lake City. Everyone's got the same open signs. <laughs> They're matchy matchy. All right, so we're curving around the corners. At the moment we are very symmetrical, apart from the open sign, which is just on one side. Little red flowers dotting the outside curved edge here and then yeah we're still so symmetrical look at this oh but this isn't symmetrical well it is kind of this is gonna be the outside but look Charlie is employee of the month that's adorable <laughs> so that goes on the inside okay we have so much symmetry here that my brain is terribly happy this stick is so fun look it says wanted like that is the kitten that we saw before. Is this kitten wanted for leaving grubby toe bean prints on the window or they want to find it or they want to employ a cat to leave grubby toe bean prints on the windows? I'm so confused. Like it's a wanted sign, but <laughs> I don't want to know what the story is here. Anyway, we're building a drive through on the side or a roll through because it is designed to be used with the skateboard. So let's see how this is going to work. I think this is, I like the fact that the Lego Friends so far this year with the new generation seem to be grade seven, like heading into high school. So the fact that none of them so far are capable of driving a car or a vehicle, apart from skateboards or bikes, is a little bit more realistic to life. So yeah, Leanne is doing the drive through on her skateboards. I really like that. We've got some nice tiling inside the front door. This over here that we're building now is gonna be the counter. Interesting, we've got some interesting stuff happening on the floor. I love these stickers. I love this menu sticker. It can be used anywhere. So menu, you get your bread and then you get your tomatoes and then you put on your lettuce and then you choose your cheese. So it feels like a Subway or a variant of that franchise. We've got to check out thing. What do you call that thing? Cash machine? <laughs> why, can I why do I forget words? Yeah, okay, so these are the empty loaves, the little rolls ready to put your filling in them. They're just chilling here on the bench top and the countertop. And this looks like it's probably gonna be a fridge of some sort. Now, hold on. So this tips on its side, and that's the ledge to put a couple of drinks on, a couple of soda cans. So this opens up that way so that you can reach down into it. All right, we're gonna be filling that up later, obviously, because there's nothing in the instructions for that at the moment. The arcade machine goes over here near the door. It's all terribly retro, loving it to pieces. Not a lot of room inside, but that's fine. There's enough stuff inside. This is a uh, cash register. That was the word I was looking for, for that thing, that place where you pay with the $100 bill on the top. <laughs> oh my goodness me. My brain pops out on holidays. This is a little cog so we can actually plug the jukebox and you can make it dance. So it is rocking so hard with your tunes, with your 60s tunes, <laughs> dancing around on the floor. So another menu here, looks like this might be the order board inside for the orders you put outside. Yeah, there's a little timer on them. So cool. All of these stickers are great. And this is the order board for outside so you can see what you have actually ordered. Yeah, nice, all right. On the top, lining the top with some bright light yellow tiles and another, yeah, in the middle here. And now I think it's just, I think we've made all the furniture. There's not really much room for anything else in there. Let's get Charlie in to be manning the checkout. Leanne's got her five cent piece. What can I get for five cents at the drive through window? Nothing, all right, we're up to the next bag. <laughs> okay, let's see what she can get for five cents. Actually, we're not going to find that out at all. We're going to be building what is essentially, 
window dressing. I suppose it's the decoration for the facade. So it's facade dressing. I love the teal curved bits. We're just creating all these curved shapes. So interesting. It could just be so blocky, but all of these curves and adding them to the outward facing studs along the front here just gives so much dynamic to the shape of the actual building. How interesting is that? And then this goes on this side here. So once again, we're mirror imaging here. These go along there. We've lined it with beautiful teal and then a few more little green bits down the front, which bring me much joy. On the top, we have got places for some signage. So this is the first <laughs> sign. So it's the skateboard through. It's not the drive through. We got an arrow to this is where you want to skateboard through. So whimsical. Love it so much. I put it in the wrong spot. So let's put that there. There we go. That's better. I don't know how I thought they were going to skateboard through there with my picture, but this is what goes in the fridge. Got a couple of different types of leaves, a couple of cheeses, a couple of random red things. No, they're tomatoes. I know because that's on the sign. Perfect. We need some sauce bottles though. It's a bit dry and bland without sauce. Might need to be adding them. And then some stripey colouring for the top. Stripey awning kind of stuff. Yeah. This goes in the middle. So we're going to be attaching something that's on a hinge. Red and white stripes happening around here. It is definitely such a fabulous retro build and a big sign that says diner. Very nice. Rounding over the edges of that with the quarter pie tiles. But we've still got the hinge on the top. What goes on that? All right, we're about to find out. It's a spinny. It's a spinny thing. Let's see. So, oh, of course, it's going to be a buildable version of whatever we're selling. So it's going to be a gigantic sandwich. Let's take these leaves off so I can straighten up the square bits. Look at that. I love that huge sandwich so much and it spins around. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Okay, all right. So this, let's get Charlie out here. Put Charlie back here. Put, you, put, put them at the drive through window. Poor, poor Charlie, they've got to do all the jobs, like all the jobs. There's only one person here. That's going to be very exhausting. Um, in the description, it actually says that the seating area is outside, but I don't think you'd put those sort of chairs outside. So I'm going to envisage them just here attached on the inside. Put the bin here where we can access it and let Leanne go through the drive through or the skate through. I, I cracked myself up. OK, all right. So the diner is done. Where are we going to put this in the city? What are we? What is happening with the cat? Look at this, the cat, the kitten. I want to know the story. I want to know what's going on. I reckon the kitten is wanted for leaving. Yeah, grubby Toby and Prince on the window. <laughs> Though I think this cat also turns up in the hotel, the cat hotel. So what is the kitty's story? That's what I'm left with at the end of this build. So bizarre. All right, time to go. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the build and check back in because more things are coming up soon and I will be here to do them. Yep, yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.